Let's draw a bunny. So what do you think of when you think of a bunny? I think fluffy. I think cute. I think pet that I can have at home. I think Easter. I think family time. I think chocolate. What are the things that you think of when you think of a bunny? I'm going to show you how to draw a bunny. And you are going to need a few things. But remember, if I say something and you don't have that specific material, improvise. Okay, there's many ways to be creative. So if you've got paper, I'm using a big A3 size white paper, but maybe you don't have paper. Maybe you've got recycled cardboard or old gift wrapping paper. Go grab that, okay, to draw on. If you've got a pencil, grab a pencil. If you've got some crayons or pastels, grab crayons and pastels. If you have markers, grab markers. Then I'm going to paint with watercolor paints. Here they are, nice and messy and used already. You can use any kind of paints, acrylic paints, finger paints. The options are endless. And again, if you want to even add more things like glitter, or you want to add stickers, or you want to add anything that you like that you've got in your house, at your classroom, to make it your own bunny creation. So we are going to have our page be portrait. It means the long side of the page is up and the short end is at the top. Okay, because we want to fit the entire bunny into this page. But if you want to flip it, you could possibly fit two little bunnies in. Okay, again, I'm just showing you the way that I'm going to do it, but you can use it any way to make your own picture. So I like to divide my page into four blocks. Okay, this just helps me to explain to you how to draw and it sort of places things on the page. Okay method in my madness you will see. So go to the top of your page. You can use your pencil okay, to do this. I'm using a crayon because if I use a pencil you're not going to really see what I'm doing. So go to the top of your page. Okay, roughly guess where the middle is. Okay, and make a little line going down all the way. Okay, if you still can't see my line, let me make it a little bit darker. Okay, hopefully we can see it now. There we go. Okay, pencil you can erase later. Okay, you're going to do exactly the same on the side. Find the middle and make a line going across. So I'm going to go straight for my black marker for drawing. You can still use your pencil if you want to be more precise. You can use your crayons. Okay, you can use anything you have to draw. I like the whole look of a black outline and then coloring it in. Okay, like these two bunnies, colorful bunnies that I've Drawn and painted. Okay, so you're going to go at the bottom of your page and you're going to make this half moon, half circle shape. Okay, if you want to practice first with your hand, do this. It's like a rainbow. Hey, okay, so you can make this half moon rainbow shape at the bottom. Okay, it can also be an egg, it can be anything that you want where your bunny is standing on. Okay, next we're going to make 
the body of a bunny and it's two lines slanting down okay almost like it's a triangle can you see almost like a pointy triangle but we're not going to make it point all the way okay you're just going to go slanted over that line if you want to and keep it open so you're not going to complete the triangle you can imagine going up with the triangle coming down where that line is and making the same line on the other side okay next we're going to draw the head so the trick with the head okay is don't go drawing it up here or drawing it too big because we want the bunny ears to fit in what's a bunny without bunny ears okay so check that you let's say it's almost like a hand mine can fit in and another hand where the ears are gonna be so put your hand at the top of your page okay you can even make a little line let me do that a little dot that's gonna help you to say not to go past that little dot okay else your bunny ears aren't gonna fit and now you are going to make a nice big circle that's connecting to the body okay next we are going to add in the bunny elements like the little cute fluffy tail okay then the big long ears again i've got long thin ones i've got long thicker ones you can make them even curly whirly fluffy okay again it's your bunny you're drawing so i'm giving it two ears at the top i'm gonna give it a little tummy detail in the middle I'm going to give it the inside of the ears for some detail. Okay, I'm just adding little things, details that I like for my bunny, but it still needs a face and it still needs some arms, okay, and hands. Okay, so for the arms, I'm just making a line going up. Okay, make a little almost circle and make a line coming down because my bunny is going yay okay then the other side line up almost a full circle and coming down now let's add the nose i like to make a little triangle okay and then add in the little mouth giving it some eyes Again, you can make any sort of eyes that you like. If you've got a certain way of making eyes, do that. Okay, next I'm going to give it some cheeks because I can. There's some of those. Do they have whiskers? What do we call those guys? <laughs> okay, in there. What else am I going to add? I'm looking at my bunnies on the side. I'm, ooh, we need to make the background. Okay. So again, be imaginative. Use whatever thing you like. If you want your bunny to be on the mountain, let it be on the mountain. If you want your bunny to be by the moon, let it be by the moon. If you want to give it some Easter theme, Draw in some Easter eggs, okay? It's your drawing and painting. Make it your own by adding whatever you want. Okay, I'm going to put in some Easter eggs because I love Easter. And bunnies and Easter just go together. Okay, so I'm going to make some egg shapes in the background. There we go, squeezing them in. And another one there. And another one there. Okay, there's my egg shapes. I'm going to put little flowers on this one. You can add in some butterflies. You can add in 
another bunny. So many ideas. Okay, tell each other what your idea is. Then I'm going to give my Easter egg some patterns. I love decorating them. So I'm going to just add in some circles in this one. So I'm using the marker like an outline and then I'm pretty much going to color it in with my watercolor paints. Okay, this one's going to be zigzag. Okay, I'm going to put some hearts in this one. And I'm going to do some wiggly and circles. And wiggles again. Okay, so you can keep going drawing in all sorts of things for your bunny. Next, we are going to color it in. So if you want to go grab your crayons, your paints, your markers, your glitter, go get it. So I'm ready for some color and I've got my crazy box of pastels that I'm going to color in a little bit and then I'm going to paint. Okay, so grab some color and this I love deciding what colors to add. So I'm going to just color in roughly because I'm going to paint over it too. And if you're using an oil-based sort of crayon or pastel, when you paint over it with watercolors, it's actually going to pop up or pop out. Okay, maybe you know what I'm talking about. Maybe you don't and you're going to see what I mean. Okay, so I've got some colors here. You're kind of in this belly. You can see I'm just enjoying myself and thinking of what colors I'm gonna make my bunny. There we go. So bunnies are quite adorable animals because I read that they kick their legs like jumping when they're happy, hey? So imagine you see a bunny and you see it jumping and kicking its legs out. That actually means it's feeling very happy, hey? So next time, when you see a bunny, you might actually know what it's feeling and that it's feeling happy, hopefully, hey? If I think of bunnies, I definitely think of happy. Maybe you've got a pet bunny. Huh? Tell your friends or your teacher you've got a pet bunny, maybe it's got a name, maybe you've always wanted a pet bunny. Okay, I'm getting distracted thinking of pet bunnies. Let's color in a little bit more. I'm going to just color in there. Okay, I'm going to do one more little bit of color. I'm going to actually just roughly, so look, I'm roughly just coloring in because I'm going to paint over this little bit so it pops up. Okay. There we go. Sort of sketching it in. Not coloring it in perfectly. Okay. There we go. Okay. So you can keep going with colors. I'm actually going to, you know what? I'm going to get where's a nice oh, okay. I'm going to make little blobs and dots because when I paint over the background mm -hmm, you're going to see it's going to pop up. Okay, let's do one more color, uh, orange, okay, an orange. Okay, making little spots and dots. Okay, there we go. Okay, if you want to rub out the pencil lines, remember to do that as well, okay? And now we are going to paint. So I've got my paintbrushes here. I've got big ones, medium ones, and a little one, okay, all ready. I also have a little cloth, which I just clean my brushes on, and then I've got my paints, okay? So I'm going to first 
just color in the background because it's going to dry and then I'm going to paint in the little details of my bunny. I'm going to do a light pink in the background. So I'm using a big brush and I'm really just painting, Ooh. painting nice and big strokes. If you're going to the sides, okay, you can concentrate a little bit more. And that's why the black lines really help me to sort of stick into or stay in my spot that I'm painting. So you can first go around the lines and then you've got some space to paint a bit bigger. You can also use a smaller brush if you want to, but as I said, I'm using watercolors and it means it dries fast and it means that you can paint over it with another color. So that's why I like to do the background first. Going all along the black lines. I also found out that bunnies like to live with lots of other bunnies, which means they're quite sociable animals, which is very cute because I wouldn't even think about animals being social, but you know, they also need friends and family. So it really fits in the theme of Easter for me because Easter is all about friends and family and holiday and eating chocolate and doing fun things, hey? So even more reasons to think of a bunny. They also like to be with friends and family. But I don't know if they eat chocolate. <laughs> Do you know if bunnies eat chocolate? It's probably not a good thing to feed your pet bunny chocolate, hey? So more chocolate for you. Okay, look at my background. It looks so nice. All around. There we go. And there we've got the background. Okay, next I'm going to actually take a slight smaller brush. Okay. And I'm going to start with the bunny ears at the top. Okay, I'm going to make it dark blue. Okay. And I'm going to go along the black line, sort of giving myself a little space to then just color it in. Okay, I'm catching my paint So bunnies sleep in the day and then they wake up at night. We actually call animals like that nocturnal. Okay. And then when we are sleeping cozy in bed, they come out. So I'm just going on painting the body now. So I'm using my medium brush and I'm following the lines all the way so that I can just color it in. Okay, let's just not let it drop. Okay. So what do bunnies eat? We all think they eat carrots, hey, but I think they eat a little bit more than just carrots. They're probably eating a lot of vegetables, maybe even fruit. 
some grass, okay? What do you think they eat? Mm -hmm. Okay, now I'm going to add in all the colors for the rest. Maybe the nose. Okay, don't drip. Don't drip. There we go. Catching it with my finger. Or you could catch it with a little cloth. Okay. So I've cut it in the arms, but you can still paint a bit over it. I'm going to paint over it with a color. And then you'll see the bits where the wax crayon or pastel is. The paint sort of doesn't go on, but where there isn't, the little nooks and crannies, the paint actually sticks. So that's quite fun. We call that color resist. If you want to paint over it a bit. There we go. Okay, I'm going to do it at the bottom just now. I'm going to paint in the face. What color am I going to use? I'm going to do yellow. Okay. I'm going to go all along the line using my brush. Just go around the eyes and the cheeks. And around the nose. And then I can just color it in. So bunnies have a fascinating fact about their teeth. Their teeth never stop growing. How ridiculous is that? And then you would think they have these long funny looking teeth, but they don't really. Okay, but it just keeps growing. How crazy. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna add in some color for the tail and for the bottom bit. The tail, I'm going to make a green. Okay. Go all along the lines. And colouring it in. So I'm going to swap to the big brush again because I'm going to paint in the bottom a little bit. And I'm going to add in some orange. So along the line there. And I've used a paint resist again because the blue you'll see is popping out. Okay. smaller brush maybe and just get into those little corners because my big brush isn't getting in there. I don't want to miss my pretty flower that I've drawn. There we go. rabbits live. You get pet rabbits that live in your garden. <laughs> you might have seen them in little tunnels or holes in the ground. Have you seen them there before? They like to live in little tunnels in the ground. Maybe that's quite nice because in the day they, they're nice and cool in the tunnels or maybe if it's summer, they're nice and cool in the tunnels, and if it's winter, they're nice and warm in the tunnels. That's what I'm thinking here. There we go. Okay, maybe my rabbit's standing on top of its tunnel. Who knows? Next, I'm going to just keep going and color in 
all the rest. So I'm going to do a little cheeks. Okay. And whilst I've got my pink here, I'm going to actually just keep going and colouring in the rest of my Easter eggs. Some pink there. And maybe some pink over there. Watch out not to smudge. You'll be sad if you're smudging. And now I'm going to add in my purple. It's like decorating your own Easter eggs, hey? Why do you like Easter? Maybe you love it because you go on a boat trip with your family. Or maybe you get to go camping with your family. Or maybe you get to watch lots of movies. <laughs> maybe you get holiday like us. We get holiday over Easter. Who doesn't love holiday? Just coloring in these Easter eggs that's making me really want one. <laughs> you get those white ones that make your mouth white. Do you also get them where you live? Maybe you've got special ones that we don't know. Maybe you've got ones with chocolate inside. That's all I'm thinking now. I'm painting these Easter eggs. Let's do the green at the top there. Don't want to smudge anything. So a great idea if you've used your black marker or even crayons is once you've painted and the paint is nice and dry, you can actually go over it with a marker again. Okay. And that will make your picture stand out even more because you might have painted a bit over the marker area and then when it's dry you can just draw over it again and see that line popping out nicely again. We use the word pop quite a lot, eh? <laughs> well, why can't our bunny picture pop? Okay, one more egg to go. What color? Let's see. If I look at it like that, maybe it should be a light color. Should it be orange? Yes. Let's do orange. There we go. So as I said, you can add more things if you've got some stickers to add in. If you've got some glitter, if you've got some other mixed media things you want to stick on this, go ahead, why not? I'm gonna make it purple. The last bit. There we go. My purple little flowers. Oh, look at this colorful bunny. I'm quite sure you're not just going to draw one. You're going to draw quite a few. Hey, why not? You can even make it into a card for a friend or your gran or your sister. Write on the other side a nice little note. Be creative, hey. Okay. So let's quickly recap how we created this wonderful bunny. You went and scratched for any sort of paper that you've got at home. The bigger the better because I like drawing big, okay? 
I've made my page portrait, okay, to fit the whole bunny in. I've made two lines to get the middle of my page, which is helping me draw. Then I started with a half moon from the bottom end going down to the other side, okay? Then we've made slanted lines for the body, almost like a triangle, okay? Added the head at the top, but keeping space for the ears, okay, with your hand. Then we've drawn in the cute fluffy ears. We've drawn in the hands going, yay! And the arms. Then details in your bunny. Little triangle nose, mouth, cheeks, eyes, insides of the ears, little tummy, little tail. What else? The little whiskers on the side, okay. And then the background. We, or I've decided to do some Easter egg shapes with patterns and colors all over. Maybe your bunny's in outer space. Let me know. And then we've colored it in with pastels, crayons, paints. Okay. You've had a lot of fun. I've had a lot of fun. Thanks, everyone.